Welcome to the Express Boats Online Owner's Manual. Congratulations and thank you for your wise decision to invest in Express Boats and join our family. The Online Owner's Manual is a comprehensive video-based resource covering every aspect of your new Express. The Library of Educational Content will assist in defining every element relating to your new Express to ensure safe and exciting adventures on the water. Welcome to an elite family of Express Boats owners from across the nation who have chosen the Hyperlift Bass and Hyperlift Crappie. Our innovative Hyperlift Hull is the foundation to transport you out on the water in pursuit of extreme adventure. Express Boats, creator of the original all-welded aluminum boat, understands that your time is valuable and we appreciate your investment in our high-performance, cost-effective excitement. This video segment is designed to educate Hyperlift Bass and Hyperlift Crappie owners on the console's components, which the H18, H17, H18C, and H17C all share in common. Please keep in mind that some features may vary, including the steering wheel, graph, blinker trim lever, and the amount of rocker switches may vary depending upon the available options you choose for your boat, including the popular appearance package. Let's get this segment of the Express Boats Owner's Manual underway by starting on the left side of the dash. The RPM gauge displays the current revolutions per minute of your Yamaha outboard. Underneath that is your trim gauge that shows the tilt of the motor. Next is the three-spoke black aluminum steering wheel with a soft grip rim that comes standard on all 17 and 18-foot models. Cable steering comes standard on the H-Bass and H-Crappie. Please note that there is a small black cap along the top of the steering column if your boat features an optional Baystar hydraulic steering upgrade. This port is for adding hydraulic steering fluid to your steering system. However, we do recommend having your authorized Express Boats dealer inspect the hydraulic system, add fluid, and bleed air out as needed. An upgrade to the Seastar hydraulic tilt steering will include a lever underneath the steering column to adjust the angle of the steering wheel to provide the greatest comfort and most usability. If your boat is equipped with the optional 6-inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate, then you will have a blinker lever to adjust the height of your jack plate on the left side of your steering wheel column. The optional blinker lever on the right side will control the trim of your outboard. A Hummingbird Helix 5 graph comes standard on all H-Bass and H-Crappie models and is flush mounted above the helm unless you option for a different size Hummingbird or Garmin graph. The dual functioning fuel and water PSI gauge located on the right of the steering column shows how much gasoline is on your boat. All H-Bass and H-Crappie models have an 18-gallon fuel capacity. The water PSI gauge indicates the water pressure in your Yamaha. Moving further to the right, you will see a panel that holds an assortment of rocker switches that control various functions on the boat. Pushing the top of the power rocker will turn all of your power on to your accessories, indicated by a small red light illuminated on the top of the switch. To turn off, push the bottom after each fishing trip to conserve battery power. Nav slash ANC controls the bow and stern navigational lights. Pushing the top of the rocker in will illuminate both the bow and stern lights, which is required if you run in low light or darkness. Push the bottom in to turn on the white nav light on the stern, which is also required by law if you anchor your boat at night. Bilge controls the bilge pump located inside the rear storage compartment. Please watch our separate owner's manual video segment called Live Well slash Bilge Pump for detailed information about using your bilge pump. Auto Aerator Man adds water to the live well. To fill it up, switch it down to manual. Once it's full, switch it up to auto to add fresh water into the live well in cycles of about three minutes. Three minutes on and three minutes off. Be sure the spray head valve on top is set to about half so that all excess water can drain out through the overflow in the live well. Failure to turn down the valve on the spray head may result in the live well overflowing into the boat. Auto research manual is optional and controls the recirculation feature in the live well. Make sure the recirculation spray head, red knob and live well, is pushed in before you flip the switch up to auto. 
The aerator will now pull water from the live well and recirculate it back into the live well. Recirculation will work on about a three minute cycle, three minutes on and three minutes off. Warning, only use the recirculating system with adequate water in the live well. The water level must be over the intake fitting for the recirculating pump in the live well. Failure to do this could result in damaging the recirculation pump. Please watch the separate owner's manual video segment called Live Well Slash Bilge Pump for more detailed information about using the live well features on your H-Bass and H-Crappie. Below each rocker switch is a breaker associated with it in the event you need to reset it. You may see an ACC rocker that controls other accessories that you may have included in your boat order, such as interior lighting. There may also be a blank accessory plate on the switch panel, which is for an extra component you add in the future. The ignition is underneath the rocker switches and is used to start your motor. The optional hot foot will be located underneath the console on the right side of the floor and mounted to the front of the baffle. This convenient feature allows you to drive the boat like you do your car. You keep both hands on the wheel and control the throttle with your foot. The throttle returns to idle if you remove your foot. If you choose the wet sounds option, you will see a wet sounds AM FM Bluetooth receiver mounted on the interior side of the console. This digital tuner has two high output marine coaxial speakers, one mounted underneath the console and the other on the passenger side of the front baffle. On the front interior corner of the console is a tool holder with three holes to hold pliers, scissors, or any other gear necessary for a productive time on the water. The front of the Hyperlift Bass and Crappie consoles features a sleek aerodynamic design and tinted windshield. We will wrap up this Worthwind tour of the console by pointing out an ever so convenient cup holder located on the exterior side of the console. We hope you have found this Express Boats Owner's Manual segment constructive. By now, you should have a thorough understanding of the components that make up the H-Bass and H-Crappie console. So, until next time, tight lines. For further information about this topic and other Express Boats related content, visit our website, expressboats.com, or contact your local Express dealer. If you have a question that is not covered in any of these modules, send us an email at infoexpressboats.com. At